Welcome to Target GRE 2020. Today we will be focusing on text completion with two blanks. The phrase that we would be looking at is methodologies. As you can see in the question, the question reads, since there are significant dash in the flawed methodologies of the studies upon which it is based, the meta-analysis is anything but dash. So in questions like these, you know that there are two blanks to be filled and there will be a correlation between the two words that you will be selecting. It can either be a positive correlation or a negative correlation. In this question, we see that there is a positive correlation, which means that whatever you fill in the blank number one will be positively related. If it is a positive word in blank number one, there will be a positive word in blank number two. And if it is a negative word in blank number two, Two, then there will be a negative word in blank number one. Now the phrase that you have to focus on is flawed methodologies. The researcher has used certain flawed methodologies in his studies. Now the first blank relates to this flawed methodologies. And flawed methodologies would obviously lead to inconsistencies. So in questions like these, you have to come up with a word of your own that you think fills the blank correctly and then look at your options to find a similar word. Here for the first blank, we are looking at a word that is similar to inconsistencies. And thus consistencies cannot be your answer. So that option is eliminated for the first option. Number three is eliminated. Now subtleties kind of means the same thing as consistencies or nitty gritties and thus that can also not be your answer since it is a positive word and thus we are left with irregularities which is our answer. Now for the second blank it says the analysis is anything but dash. Anything but is a phrase that performs the function of not which means if you want, a, if you have a negative word in the blank, anything but makes it a positive phrase. Similarly, if you have a positive word in the blank, anything but will make it negative. Now the combined phrase of anything but and the word in the second blank should give us something that is positively correlated to irregularities, which means we are looking for a positive word in the second blank. Now unreliable is not a positive word, thus we can eliminate it. How we are coming to this conclusion is that flawed methodologies will lead to unreliable results. So if you write anything but unreliable, it means that the result is reliable. That cannot be the case in this question. Thus we are left with two words intelligible and credible. Now credible is the most appropriate fit because we are talking of research studies and the credibility of it is dependent on the methodologies used and thus we select that. Moving on to the next question. The word that we are focusing on is elaborate. Unable to eschew her well-known tendency towards dash, the speaker effectively turned a few minute policy into an hour long discussion dash on its history. So here the speaker has a tendency to speak a lot since she has converted a five minute discussion into an hour long talk. Thus, she is elaborate in using her words and therefore we are looking at words which signify elaborate or going on for a long time. So the second word which is going to fill the second blank is a word that should describe the expansion of a few minutes into an hour long discussion. If you look at your options, expatiation, which means the expansion into 
of something small into something big is the word that we are looking for. Distension is also a similar word but it is used in medical contexts. So that is removed. Repertory is not the word that we are looking for since we have already concluded that expatiation fits the second blank appropriately. Now moving on to the first blank. The speaker has been elaborate as you can see from the second part of the question. And thus elaboration is clearly our answer because the speaker is not precise. The speaker is, you cannot say that he is imprecise, he might be precise but he is not concise, he is elaborate. Thus that is not a, precision cannot be our answer. And terseness also does not fit the tense of the sentence, so that is removed. Thus our answer is elaboration and expatiation. Moving on to the next question. The word that we will focus on is interest. The question reads, although this historical figure had been a dash politician and a brilliant inventor, the professor found herself unable to dash the interest of her students in the career of a man with such outdated views. Now we know that he is a brilliant inventor and thus it is likely that the first word that fills the first blank is also a positive word. Thus, it is unlikely that the first word is insipid or effete, both of which have negative connotations. Since he is a brilliant inventor, it is likely that he is also described using a positive word in terms of his politics. And thus, deft is our answer. Now for the second blank. The professor found herself unable to dash the interest of her students. We are looking for a word that is similar to evoke. So accrue and wet are two options that we have which are similar. Doubt cannot be our option and that is eliminated because that is not about accumulating interests. So now accrue and wet. The difference between them is that wet is a much faster accrual. So instead of using just accrue, because this is about a talk, accrue being a slow process, we eliminate that word and thus we are left with wet, which is our answer. That brings us to the end of this video on text completion with two blanks. Stay tuned for more videos so that you can crack GRE like all of us. Please like, share and subscribe.